Hey everyone, I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit, and welcome to my strength training at home routine. This routine is great for both men and women of an intermediate through an advanced fitness level. The only equipment you're going to need is a pair of dumbbells and I'm going to do the whole thing with you. Let's get to work. All right, we're getting this one started on the ground. First, we're gonna do a narrow push-up. So with your hands shoulder width apart, we're gonna bring your elbows in. As we do a push-up, this push-up concentrates more on your triceps. If you can't quite complete this for the whole time, you can go ahead and do it from your knees. But we are doing 30 seconds of this movement, and it's 30 seconds of every exercise today. So we're not counting reps, we're just getting as many as you can in, in the time. Now on this one, don't let your elbows flare out. You want to keep them in. And three, two, one, last one, zero. Good. Okay, now we're grabbing our dumbbells, switch it over to our back. We're going to do a line dumbbell fly. So we have a little bend in our elbows, keeping that same bend the whole time. We're going to stretch our chest, and then we're going to squeeze it. Make sure you feel that chest stretch, and then contract it up at the top, and squeeze your chest muscles together up at the top. A little bend in your elbows the whole time, but don't turn it into a press. So we're trying to take your triceps out of this one. It's all chest working. Feel that big stretch and then squeeze. Three, two, one, and zero. Good. We're up on our feet for the next one. We got to move over to a wall. I'm going to use the wall behind me. We're going to do a one arm push up. So the further back your feet are away from the wall, the harder it is. The closer to the wall you are, the easier it is. We're doing one arm push ups, one at a time. And we're doing 15 seconds on each arm. So, again, the further back you move your feet, the harder it's going to be. The closer to the wall you are, the easier it's going to be. It's a great unilateral movement. Doesn't look like much, but it adds up quick. And switch. Now we're hitting 15 seconds on the other side. Keep your abs tight and try to reach to the wall with your chest. And keep your hand in line with your chest instead of reaching to the wall with your face. Three, two, one, and zero. Good. Grabbing our dumbbells, headed back to the ground for the next one. Next, one we're going to do a line dumbbell elbow out extension. So the dumbbells start together, they enter together. We're letting them fall down in the middle, bending only our elbows, and they come back up. I'm going to give you both views for this one. Give you a rear view. There it is. And you may see how I keep the ends of those dumbbells together the entire exercise. Excellent work. Breathe all the way up, all the way down. Feel those triceps working. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next, we're gonna do one arm, ISO hold, while the other arm presses. Keep as many presses as you can. Now, my arm that's just holding, notice how I don't have that arm on the ground but instead I'm just holding it up with my elbow at about a 90 degree angle. And halfway through we switch and hit the other side. And don't let that arm bounce up off the ground, but instead either stop it right before it hits the ground or let it kiss the ground and come right back up. But don't bounce it. All the way up, all the way down. Good, good, good. And five, four, three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> That's the end of the first round. Back to the ground we go, getting that second round started. Narrow push-ups, elbows are in, all the way up, all the way down. Fight through this, this is probably the hardest one to continue to do this for sets of 30 seconds at a time to keep those elbows in and give you full range of motion. Nice, only 10 more seconds left on this one. All the way up, all the way down. Remember, if you can't quite do it, don't stop, but instead continue on your knees. Last one, good. Okay, grab those dumbbells, headed into our dumbbell fly again. A little bend in our elbows, feeling that chest stretch, and squeezing up at the top. There it is, come on, keeping it up, guys. We're gonna start to feel that burn kicking in, but remember, we don't have to listen to the burn. That's just lactic acid being released into our muscles, but that doesn't mean you have to stop. That doesn't mean you can't keep going. Just push through that pain, and through that feeling. Nice. Three, two, one. Up on our feet we go. Head into our one-arm push-ups now. 
with our feet back and we stretch all the way down, trying to reach the wall with our chest, but not with our face. Remember, the further back your feet are, the harder it is. We have 15 seconds on each side in three, two, one. Another side now, all the way up, all the way down. Again, this one's tougher than it looks, especially if you challenge yourself and bring those feet back far from the wall. How many can you get in this 15 seconds? Three, two, one, and zero. Nice. Grab another dumbbell. So back to the floor again. Hitting that line, dumbbell, elbow out extension. Dumbbells are together the whole time. Feel them drop down, then at the elbows, and back up, squeezing the back of the arms up at the top. Make sure you finish all the way up every time. So finish the movement, full range of motion on this one. Great job, just a couple more. And three, two, one, zero, nice. Okay, one arm holds, other arm presses, just like last time, but now you got the hang of it, so you should be able to get twice as many in as you did last time. Good, fighting through it, fighting through it. We got 15 seconds on each side. Go, 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 and switch. Other side now, come on. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. This is a blitz workout. We're getting as many repetitions in as we can in the 10 minute time frame. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. End of the second round, that's halfway through. Back in my favorites on the ground for some narrow push ups. Elbows are in. Let's go. All the way up, all the way down. I know it's starting to burn. I know it's starting to hurt, but I don't want to hear any excuses. Come on, let's go. Excuses are for people who don't want it bad enough. How bad do you want it? Let's go. Come on, pushing it. Pushing that pace, keeping those elbows in. Don't let them flare out. We have 10 more seconds on this one. Moving, moving. In five, four, three, two, one. Up. All right, grab your dumbbells. We're on our back for some flies. Full range of motion on these and feel that chest stretch with every repetition and squeezing it up at the top. Come on, pushing the pace, guys. Come on, let's go. Remember what you came here for today. Something brought you here. You have some goal you're working on. Whether it's vanity, you want to look better, whether you just want to be healthier, whether it's a sport, an activity, whatever it is, something brought you here today. Focus on it. Let's go. Come on, pushing the pace. And three, two, one, zero. Dumbbells are down. And we're on our feet, hitting that one arm wall push up. All the way up, all the way down, full range of motion. Stretching your chest to the wall. Notice how low I have my hand, too. I don't have my hand up here, but I have it in line with my chest. Keep that hand in line with your chest. Switching sides now. Giving me full range of motion. I apologize for this crappy angle. It's the best we can do here. But you can figure out what I'm doing. I'm just pressing off the wall. So wall push up. Come on, let's go. And three, two, one. Nice. Grabbing those dumbbells. We're hitting the floor again. Right into our elbow out extensions. Come on, guys. Keep up the pace. Keep up with me here. Let's go. Right from one to another. Not resting. Ten minutes of non stop action today. Burning out that chest. Burning out those triceps. Come on, all the way up, all the way down. I know it's starting to get harder, but don't allow yourself to slow down. Come on, come on. The real workout starts when we want to quit. Let's go, come on, three, two, one, zero. Hold one arm, press with the other one. All the way up, all the way down. Great job, come on. How many can you get? We have 15 seconds on each side. That's it, just 15 on each side. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Opposite side, we got 15 seconds left in this round. Come on, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. I know it's burning, but fight through it, fight through it. Don't listen to that burn. Come on, let's go. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. And the third round, just one more to go. On the ground we go, last round. Narrow, elbows are in. All the way up, 
all the way down. Fighting through it, pushing through it. Let's go, we're staying focused and we're staying motivated, keeping our eyes on the prize, which is completing this workout and think about how great we're gonna feel when it's all said and done. Keep those elbows in, don't let them flare out. We really wanna focus on those triceps. And three, two, one, last one, zero. All right, on our back side now, grabbing our dumbbells. Last set of the fives, full range of motion. I know this workout's starting to kick in. It is for me too, you're not alone. It's hurting me. I'm just as near human as you are. We got thousands of people doing the same workout at home, all feeling the same burn, all in the same places. Yes, your chest is supposed to be on fire. Yes, your triceps are supposed to be on fire. Your shoulders are probably all on fire. That's okay, that's how we know it's working. Just keeping it moving, breathe, pushing through this last couple minutes, and doubles are down. Up on our feet, hitting the wall for the next one. We have the one arm wall push ups. Only a minute and a half to go, everybody. Only a minute and a half to go. Right to the very end. We got 15 seconds on each arm. Keeping it up, keeping it up, keeping it up. Three, two, one. Switch it up, opposite arm now. Remember, keep that arm nice and low and keep those feet back. Keep it challenging. Come on, full range, full press, all the way to the wall and back. Three, two, one. Zero, with the feet, we go, I'm sorry, with the ground we go. Grabbing your dumbbells. Come on, let's go. Dumbbells are together. Full range of motion. Bring the dumbbells down, the elbows out. Not much left, everybody. Come on, stick with me here. Try your best to keep up. Let's go, no breaks. Not much left, I'm doing this for you. Remember what brought you here today. Not much left, we got 10 seconds left on this one. All the way up, all the way down. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, last exercise of the day. One arm is locked, one arm presses. Hit it. How many can you get? Come on. It's hurting me too. Pushing through it, not much left. Fight right to the very end. We can see what you're made up here. And switch. Digging deep, last 15 seconds. Dig deep, give me everything you got. Everything you got, pushing through. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero, and that's it. All right, we have both dumbbells in hand. We're gonna start with a one leg, stiff leg deadlift. So, a little bend in your knee. With the most part, keeping that leg straight. Let that back leg come up as your upper body goes down. And you're gonna feel a stretch in that hamstring and in your glute. That helps. You keep your head up, it'll help you keep your back straight. We're reaching with both dumbbells to the foot on the ground. And switching it up, we're doing half and half on each side. This one might take you a round to get used to. That's okay, we have four rounds in total, so we got plenty of time to get used to this one. Trying your best to keep your balance. Nice. You're gonna feel that hamstring stretch, and then you're gonna pull your upper body back up with that hamstring. This one definitely takes some stability and some balance and some practice. And three, two, one, zero. Excellent. So we're keeping our dumbbells. Next, we're going to, with our feet shoulder width apart, we're going to step into a lunge, back into a squat. So we're doing a lunge to a squat combo with the weight back in your hips, alternating which foot. You step with on the lunge every time, so we're going left and right, but every time put our weight back in the hips for that squat. Nice. Keep your, up, your uh, shoulders straight up and down, good posture, and we're not bending over at the waist during any time of the movement. There it is. Just a couple more. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, we're setting the dumbbells down. We're going to the ground for the next one. We're gonna do an ISO hip up plus leg extension. So on one foot, heels on the ground, pressing our hips up. And with the opposite leg, we're doing an air leg extension. So this whole time, we're keeping our glutes nice and tight, pressing off of our hamstrings, and holding our butt up off the ground while we do the leg extensions. And halfway through, we're gonna switch. And now we're gonna do the other side. Keep that butt up the whole time. Don't let your butt drop. Keep it nice and tight throughout the movement. 
Good. Make sure to breathe. And three, two, one, zero. Nice. Back on our feet for the next one. No dumbbells needed, just your body weight. We're going to do a drop squat. So we're starting with our feet together. We're going to bring our feet out, toes are out, dropping our weight in our hips, and jumping back up. So we're jumping out, dropping our weight in our hips, and back up. And breathe. Good. Every one of these movements we're doing for 30 seconds. So we're not counting reps today. We're just trying to get as many reps in as you can in the 30 second time period. And here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, zero, good. That's the end of the first round. All right, let's get started. The second round, right into the one leg, stiff leg deadlifts. And remember, try our best to keep that balance. And don't let that knee be hyperextended, but instead, make sure to keep a slight bend in the knee throughout the entire movement. All the way up, all the way down, trying to get full range of motion and trying your best to stretch all the way down to that foot on every repetition. Very good, keeping it up. Remember to breathe throughout the entire movement. And three, two, one. Next side, hit it up. Hit that right side up. Next, I'm gonna give you a front view. Make sure I don't keep the wall behind me. Good, all the way up, all the way down and feel that stretch. Really helps if you keep your head up on this one. Not only will help you keep your back straight, but also gives you a focal point for your eyes to fixate on. And it helps you keep your balance as well. Nice, all the way up, all the way down. One last one, and good. Moving on into our stationary lunge plus squat movement. This is a rough one because it really doesn't allow the legs to break at all. They're just constantly under tension on this one. Squat and then right into the lunge over and over again. Doing great, we're gonna burn those legs up today. That's okay, that's how we know it's working. That's how we know we're getting stronger. When your legs ache, you're sweating, and you just wanna quit, that's how you know you're doing it right. And three, two, one, zero. Okay, dumbbells are down, and we're down on the ground. Up on one leg, one leg hip up, and leg extension. So just hold, feel that glute and that hamstring, keeping your butt up off the ground. Good. Full range of motion on that leg extension, and just holding the whole time. And three, two, one. Switch it up, other side now. You're doing great so far, just keep up this pace. Remember, they're all 30 seconds. And we're getting as many reps in as we can in that time period. So work at your own pace, push yourself, but work at your own pace. And three, two, one, and zero. We're up on our feet, dumbbells are off to the side, and we're moving on to, to our lateral drops. Feet start together. Jump out and drop down. Over and over again. You really should feel this one working your glutes as well as your inner thighs. Making sure to breathe. Good, 30 seconds straight in this one. We're more than halfway done. Come on, pushing it, pushing it. Now that you're familiar with the movement, just be picking up the pace, come on. Three, two, one, zero. Halfway done with the workout. All right, start of the third round, more than halfway done. We're gonna do the work and we're gonna see the results. Let's get it going with our one leg, stiff leg deadlifts. These don't need to look pretty, just try your best. Keep balance and stay under control. All the way up, all the way down. Nice work, come on, keeping it up. We're already halfway done with this first leg. We've got 30 seconds on each leg on this one. And try to keep those eyes forward, fixated on something, so you keep a balance. Three, two, one, and switch it up. Other leg now. Keeping that balance. You see, I'm not perfect, so don't try to be perfect. We're just gonna be trying to be a little bit better than we were yesterday. There it is, good. Breathe. All the way up and all the way down. Nice, try to get that back leg up until it's parallel to the ground. 
and feel that stretch. One last one. Excellent. Moving right into our lunge to squat. This is probably my least favorite. Burns the most. But as you probably are getting tired of hearing me say, that's how we know it's working. It's okay. It is the truth. Come on, keeping it moving. You guys are doing great. Get a nice deep squat with the weight back in your hips every time. So we got five, four, three, two, one, and last one, zero. Good. Dumbbells are down. On the ground. One leg hip up, isometric style, and leg extension. Keep those glutes nice and tight. This one not only works your hamstrings and your glutes, but also hits that lower back as well. So we're getting some core strength on this one. A little extra credit, as I like to say. There it is, all the way up, all the way down. And switch it up. Opposite leg now. Good. Keep those glutes tight. All the way up, all the way down. Breathing through the whole exercise. Not much time left on this one. In three, two, one, zero. We're up on our feet. Last one of the third round. You know this one by now? We got the drop squats. Drop right down deep into that squat. Also known as lateral drops. Come on, get down deep and back up. Breathe. Burning those legs out on this one. Come on, keeping it moving, keeping it moving. Fight through it. Whatever you do, don't give up. Don't slow down and don't quit. Your fitness is 100% mental. Come on. If your brain says you can do it, it's true. Let's go. Three, two, one, zero. Third round down, just one to go. All right, last round, let's make it count. Back into the one leg, stiff leg deadlifts. Last round of these on each leg. Fighting through it. Might not be quite as good as you were at the very beginning, but that's okay, we're getting better. Come on, let's go. Staying focused, staying under control, and keeping your balance on this one. Those are the keys to success on this exercise. All the way up, all the way down, keeping that balance. Last one, and switch it up, opposite side now. Last 30 seconds of these, staying focused. Try your best to keep those shoulders square, and it'll help you keep your balance. Good, come on, keep it up. Test yourself, getting as many as we can in, in the 30 seconds, all the way up, all the way down. Making sure we breathe the whole time. And last one, excellent, okay. Into the lunge, plus squat. Come on, I know it's starting to burn, starting to add up, starting to really feel it, but that's okay. The pain of exercise is much less than the pain of regret. Regret of not working out, regret of not giving it all you had. So come on, let's go. I promise you will never regret a workout. You will only regret quitting, not trying hard enough, or not working out at all. Come on, keep it up, let's go. How many can we get in this 30 seconds? Only one more. And good, dumbbells are down. We're hitting the floor. One leg on the ground, and one leg hip up. All the way up, and leg extension. There it is, making sure to breathe. Keep it up, how many can we get? We got 15 seconds on each leg. Splitting this 30 second round between the legs. Good, good, keep on, keep it moving. Three, two, one, switch it up. Last 15 seconds of this one. Keep that hamstring and glute nice and tight. Don't let your butt sink at all, keep it up. Almost there, working that core two. And three, two, one, zero. We're up on our feet. Last 30 seconds, we got the lateral drops. Dropping and back up. Nice, here it is. How many can we get in the last 30 seconds? I want you to push that pace, really put it back in your hips. Notice I'm putting it back in my hips every time. You don't want it in your knees. Not many left. Last 10 seconds, come on. Let's go, digging deep, digging deep. In five, four, three, two, 
one, zero. Excellent work. All right, we're starting with your dumbbells. I need you to bend over to a 45 degree angle with your palms forward. First, we're gonna row, pull back from your elbows, down and curl. So it's row, back down and curl. Keeping your back straight and your weight back in your hips during the entire exercise. Everything we're doing today is gonna to be timed. So we're doing 30 seconds of each exercise and moving on to the next one. So pull them back and curl. Get that breathing going right from the start. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next we're grabbing our dumbbells and we're hitting the ground. This is a tough one. We're gonna do a renegade row. So we're starting in high plank position with your hands on the dumbbells and we're pulling back on our elbows. So now we're rowing, keeping your abs tight. You can have your feet about shoulder width apart. It'll give you a good solid base on this one. And pulling back, keeping your shoulders square. You don't want to turn like so, but instead keep your shoulders and your upper body parallel to the ground. And three, two, one, zero. Grab your dumbbells back on our feet. Elbows are in, and we're hitting the reverse dumbbell curl. So palms are down on this one, keeping your elbows in and your wrists straight. So we don't want your wrists all loose like spaghetti, but instead we're going to nice and tight, keeping your wrists straight. Breathe and keep those elbows in. All the way up, all the way down. Really control the way down too. Don't just let them fly down. Breathe. Two, one, nice. Next, we're gonna get a bent over position. We're gonna do a bent over upright row. So from a bent over position, back to a 45, we're gonna pull up on the elbow. So it's not a row here, you're using your lats. And instead, we're hitting those traps in your upper back. Pulling back on the elbows. All the way up, all the way down, keeping your back straight. Nice, there it is. Come on, keeping it going. And three, two, one. Zero, great. Next, we're in a monkey concentration curve. Weight back in your legs, both elbows just inside your knees. We're gonna alternate curls. This one's gonna work your legs out a little bit at the same time. Keep your back straight on this one so your weight's back in your hips. And then we're concentrating, doing concentration curls, which means only the bicep is working. So this doesn't allow you to cheat. You don't get your whole body into it. All the way up, all the way down. And if you think you look like a monkey, that's why they're called monkey concentration girls. All the way up, all the way down. Nice, alternating. Many as you can get in the 30 seconds. And we have five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice, end of the first round. All right, for the second round, get right back into the row plus curl. Now you're a little more familiar with all of the movements, so you should be able to pick up the pace and get even more repetitions in in this 30 second time period. There it is, always pulling back anytime you do any type of row on the elbows. Pulling back on the elbows to get your row. There it is, make sure these are two separate movements, don't let them blend in and end up being the same movement. Watch how I pull back and then curl. Pull back and then curl, good. Just a few more and three, two, one. All right, taking our dumbbells, go back to the ground. We're gonna get a front view on this one. Renegade row, shoulders are square, and pull back on the elbows. There it is, good. This one is working your core as well, which I'm sure you already figured out. Nice. Making sure to breathe. It's really easy to hold your breath when you get down into this plank position. So you gotta make a conscious effort to keep on breathing. Good, good, good. More than halfway done with this one. And five, four, three, two, and one. Up on your feet. Head it right into the reverse dumbbell curls. Palms are down, all the way up, all the way down. Nice. This one also hits your forearms, which I'm sure you can feel. All the way up, all the way down, as many as we can. Come on, keep it moving. This is only a 10 minute workout, so we're keeping the pace up. No breaks in this 10 minutes. Keeping it moving from start to finish. Doing great. Three, two, one. Nice. Moving into the bent over, upright row. There it is. Pulling those elbows up and high. Breathe. There it is. Keep your back straight. 
and keep it moving for the whole set. And 10 more seconds of these. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. How many can you get in that 30 seconds? Challenge yourself. Three, two, one. Weight back on our hips, elbows inside our knees, right into the monkey curls, all the way up, all the way down. Come on, keeping it up. Keep the weight back in your legs and keep your back straight. Alternating the curls, getting as many as we can. Halfway done with this one. Only 10 seconds left in this round. Come on, keeping it up, keeping it up. Almost there, push, push, push. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Halfway done already. All right, let's get this third round started with our row to curl. There it is, row and curl. Keeping it moving, your arms probably starting to feel that burn coming about now. That's okay, that's how we know it's working. Keep on pushing through it. No complaints, because complaining isn't gonna get us anywhere. Complaining is not gonna burn any calories. It's not gonna gain us any strength. It's not gonna help us improve. Keep it moving. And three, two, one. Okay, renegade row time. In a high plank position, abs are tight. Feet are just a little wider. Shoulder width. And we're keeping our shoulders and our upper body parallel to the ground. Make sure you're pulling back on those elbows. Get that full row in, full range of motion. And as always, we are breathing. Come on, keep it up, guys. Remember, it's 30 seconds. You get as many in as you can. Good, 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 good. Keep it moving. We want to wake up nice and sore tomorrow. That sore is happy pain. That's how we know we did our job. And three, two, one. Good. Up on our feet next. Getting reverse dumbbell curls. Elbows are in. And we're all the way up. All the way down. Really control it on the way down. Don't just let them fly down, but control that movement and keep your wrists straight. Keep your palms facing down the whole time too. Excellent, excellent. Not too many more. And three, two, one. All right, bent over, upright rows. Elbows come high. Notice how my back is straight and my weight is back in my hips. Come on, breathe and push it. Doing great, guys, good. Keep it up, 100%, right to the very end. 100% effort, come on, let's go. And five, four, three, two, one. Moving right into the monkey concentration curls. Weights in your hips, and give me full range of motion. Keep those elbows right on the inside of your knee and quad, and come all the way up all the way down, full range of motion. Not too many more, we got less than 10 seconds. Keep moving, keep moving. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. That's the end of the third round, just one more to go. All right, last round, bent over position, we're rowing and curling. Last two and a half minutes for this workout, Push them right through, right to the very end. Getting as many reps in of all five exercises. There it is, come on, keeping it up. We're fighting through this burn. Learning to love that burn because we know that at the end of that burn comes results. There it is, come on, let's go. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're headed to the ground. Ready to get row time. Elbows are in. And it's all about how many can you get in a 30 second time frame. Challenging yourself. Come on, let's go. A little bit better every time you come back and repeat this workout. You can also increase your weight as you come back and repeat this workout, and it'll make it harder. Come on, let's go. Keeping it moving. Breathe. Keeping those abs tight and those shoulders square. Three, two, one, last one. All right, up on your feet, elbows are in, and we got the reverse dumbbell curls. All the way up, all the way down. These are great because we're hitting different bicep heads than you would normally hit. Make sure we get everything hit. Come on, keeping it up, and breathe. 
Almost done. We're home stretch now, guys. We're at the home stretch. Not much left. Three, two, one. Bent over position. And upright rows. Bringing those elbows high. Hitting that upper back. And your traps. Come on, keep it moving, keep it moving. You're doing great so far. Keep it up. Come on, let's go. Competing with yourself today. Challenging yourself to take it to another level. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, one. All right. Weight back in your hips. And concentration, monkey curls. This is it right here. Lay it all out on the line. Digging deep for the last 30 seconds. All the way up, all the way down. Burning those arms right out. You can feel it working. Come on, let's go. We're more than halfway done with this one. And 10 seconds left. Come on, go, 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 go. How many can you get? In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent work, we're all done. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for working out with me today. If you enjoyed this workout, make sure you check out Hasbit's website where we literally have thousands of free workouts there. We have our free meal plans to lose or gain weight, as well as our complete 30 to 90 day fitness programs. Please do us a huge favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It'll really help us keep this great service free. Like us on our Facebook fan page or follow us on Twitter, and we'll make sure you get the best daily motivation. And now you can even download the new Hasfit Interactive Trainer app and you can take it with you wherever you go. Well, I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit and I'll see you at your next workout.